This week on Science Simplified we explore the fascinating field of quantum mechanics. Within the following minutes, you will learn the secrets of the universe's tiniest building blocks. Particle behavior at the subatomic and atomic scales is the focus of quantum mechanics, a subfield of physics. Remember to hit the like button and post a comment to participate in the discussion, and subscribe to Science Arena for more interesting science material. A quantum is the fundamental notion at the center of quantum mechanics. Particles' quantum activity is based on quanta, which are the discrete packets of energy and matter. It's a radical departure from conventional physics, in which motion is governed by fixed laws. The wave-particle duality in quantum mechanics is one of the field's most fascinating and puzzling features. Particles like electrons and photons, according to this concept, can have qualities of both waves and particles at the same time, which goes against our traditional intuitions. In classical physics, particles are often viewed as discrete entities with fixed locations and velocities. However, particles exhibit strange behavior while operating at the quantum level. They behave like waves in some ways, displaying phenomena such as interference, diffraction, and superposition. Visualize yourself watching an electron in action. It's possible that in some situations it'll act like a localized particle that stays put. On the other hand, it may behave like a wave and propagate and interfere with itself. A mathematical function known as a wave function describes this wave-like activity by giving a probability distribution of the particle's position or other observable attributes. Particle behavior may have inherent probabilities, according to the wave-particle duality hypothesis. For instance, when we measure the location of a particle, we get a probability distribution that tells us where the particle is most likely to be. Quantum mechanics differs from classical physics, in which the locations and velocities of things were assumed to be fixed, because of this built-in uncertainty. In theory, even large objects have wave properties, but their wave functions quickly collapse as a result of interactions with their surroundings. This is why we don't typically encounter quantum effects. To fully appreciate the principles of quantum physics, one must be able to recognize and accept the wave-particle duality. It's a mind-blowing idea that runs counter to our common sense, drawing attention to the innate complexity and beauty of the quantum universe. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is widely regarded as one of quantum physics' most fundamental postulates. The uncertainty principle first proposed by German physicist Werner Heisenberg in 1927, poses serious challenges to the classical concept of determinism by highlighting the inherent limits of precision in measuring certain attributes of particles. According to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle we can never know with complete certainty the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. That is to say there is a hard upper bound on the precision with which we may know both of these qualities at the same time. As measurement precision increases for one attribute, it decreases for another. Let's examine the position and momentum of a particle to get a handle on this concept. While a particle's position describes its spatial location, momentum quantifies its motion and is directly related to its speed. If we know the exact location and speed at which a particle started moving, classical physics says we should be able to precisely forecast its behavior in the future. But the uncertainty principle informs us that such knowledge is impossible at the quantum level. In other words, the more precise we try to quantify a particle's position, the less precise we can calculate its momentum. In a similar vein, if we attempt to measure a particle's momentum with great accuracy, we will inevitably introduce more error into our estimate of its position. Because particles in quantum mechanics behave like waves, there is an inescapable trade-off between their position and momentum. The wave-particle duality we established earlier provides a key to unlocking the mystery of this trade-off. Within the larger wave function, the location of a particle can be viewed as a localized wave packet. The need for tight confinement of the wave packet in order to detect its position with high precision results in a range of possible momentum values. However, if we want to get a more accurate reading of the momentum, the wave packet will stretch out, increasing the positional uncertainty. The principle of superposition is one of the most fascinating aspects of quantum mechanics. Particles, according to this principle, might exist in a number of different places or states before being viewed or measured. Although this concept runs opposite to our common sense, it has been repeatedly verified in experiments, lending credence to its veracity. Typically, in classical physics, we consider objects to be in one of several discrete states. A ball, for instance, has a fixed location in space regardless of whether it is stationary or in motion. On the quantum scale, however, particles' behavior changes. 
particles are able to exist in a superposition of various states because of superposition. Let's use Schrodinger's cat, the well-known thought experiment, to illustrate superposition. Put a radioactive chemical with a 50% chance of decaying within a certain time frame into a sealed box with a cat and think about what would happen. The cat would be either living or dead, according to the laws of classical physics. Quantum theory, however, states that the cat is in a superposition of being both alive and dead until the box is opened and observed. This idea applies even to particles on the quantum scale, not only macroscopic ones like cats. An electron, for instance, can simultaneously occupy several different locations and energy levels. Wave functions are mathematical constructs that characterize the superposition of quantum states. Once a particle in superposition is measured or observed, its full nature emerges. At that instant, the particle's wave function collapses into a discrete state, and its location or status may be determined. Observation forces a particle to settle on one of its possible states, while the others fade away. The topic of quantum computing is one of the most impressive and exciting areas of use for superposition. Complex calculations and problems that are now intractable for classical computers can be performed with the help of quantum computing by harnessing the processing power of particles residing in superposition. Bits are the basic unit of data storage in classical computing, and they can only ever store one of two values, 0 or 1. These digits are the backbone of traditional algorithms, allowing us to conduct computations and handle data. In quantum computing, however, the bit is replaced by the qubit which can be in both the 0 and 1 states at the same time. Quantum computers may test several different strategies for solving a problem at once by exploiting the superposition state of qubits. The possibility for exponential speedup in some computations is made possible by the parallelism that allows quantum algorithms to process huge amounts of information in parallel. Quantum computers have the potential to tackle problems that would take traditional computers an infeasible amount of time to solve. Entanglement is another fascinating idea introduced by quantum mechanics. When two particles are entangled, their properties are correlated despite the fact that their physical locations are separated by some distance. This indicates that even if two particles are separated by a great distance, every change done to one will have an instantaneous effect on the other. Entanglement is a strange phenomenon that has inspired innovative technologies like quantum computing and quantum cryptography. The quantum states of two entangled particles become inextricably bound together. Entanglement is remarkable because it creates an instantaneous connection between the properties of the entangled particles, including their spin or polarization. When one of the entangled particles is measured, the state of the other particle is instantly determined, even if they are physically apart. This immediate connection, also known as spooky action at a distance, contradicts our traditional view of causality, according to which information cannot move faster than the speed of light. The development of quantum technologies has been fueled by the real-world applications of entanglement. Entanglement is essential for private communication in quantum cryptography. Quantum cryptography prevents eavesdropping by allowing for the secure exchange of cryptographic keys between parties by exploiting the principles of entanglement. Any intrusion into the entangled particle's communication would be detected because any attempt to intercept or measure them would disrupt the particle's fragile entangled condition. Understanding quantum tunneling within the context of quantum physics is a fascinating exercise. According to the laws of classical physics, there is a minimum amount of energy needed for particles to cross energy barriers. In quantum mechanics, however, particles can tunnel across energy barriers despite their insufficient energy thanks to a phenomenon known as quantum tunneling. Numerous scientific disciplines, from electronics and chemistry to nuclear fusion, stand to benefit from a better understanding of this seemingly counterintuitive process. Let's take a basic example to better understand quantum tunneling. Think of a particle, like an electron, that is about to hit a wall of energy. According to the laws of classical physics, the particle wouldn't have enough momentum to break through the barrier. However, according to quantum mechanics, the particle can tunnel through the barrier and appear on the other side without having enough energy to overcome the force of gravity. Particles in quantum mechanics behave like waves, which explains their unusual behavior. The wave-particle duality says that particles can be characterized by wave functions, which indicate the probability of the particle's various states or locations. The wave function of a particle crosses the energy barrier when it encounters one. There is still a chance the particle will be discovered on the other side of the barrier. As a result, the particle has a certain percentage chance of passing through the barrier and materializing on the other side. 
Quantum tunneling can occur via more complex barriers than only those in terms of energy. It occurs in many different settings and has major significance in real-world applications. For example, electronic equipment like tunneling diodes and flash memory rely heavily on quantum tunneling for the proper operation. Precision control of electric current and data storage are made possible by these devices thanks to electrons' capacity to tunnel through small insulating barriers. Sun and star energy comes from a process called nuclear fusion, and this process has implications for quantum tunneling. Positively charged atomic nuclei must overcome formidable electrostatic resistance in order to fuse and release energy in fusion processes. In order to increase the likelihood of fusion reactions and to facilitate energy generation, quantum tunneling provides a means for these nuclei to breach the repulsive barrier. Quantum mechanics has many uses in the sciences and continues to motivate researchers and engineers to break new ground.